Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Space Engineers, Solo Survival. I am Razor Karu, and I am none too pleased. Uh, here I am, starting this entire thing, and all of a sudden I come to find out... Oh, go the fuck away! I'm to find out that this shit has been enabled. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck? I disabled that shit. Yeah, no. Walls are disabled. What's going on? They should not be spawning. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. But yeah, um, if those of you who actually do follow my channel, I, pardon me. First of all, I thank you. I really haven't been really, I haven't really been doing much in the way of, uh, in the way of, um, uploading content. I've been rather busy. That content being, or that, uh, that business being moving and getting used to settling in and stuff on top of actually having an internet connection worth something. Um, <clears throat> all right. Ow, what? Holy shit, why? Oh my god! Kane! What in the actual fuck? I didn't want this! I didn't want this at all! Why don't you actually have your updates check the settings of the pe of the freaking worlds that they're in? So this shit doesn't happen! This is absurd! Ah. <sighs> I, I don't know. I can't stand for this. All of the work that I have just put in is now going to be null and void because you have essentially... I'm going to have to football just getting rid of all of these things. Holy shit. Wolves disabled, mind you. You all saw it in the settings. Wolves have been disabled. Right. Whoa!
This is bullshit. I mean, I suppose I didn't expect any less, but this is unacceptable. <sighs> so now I gotta take stock of everything before I can even get back to getting to work. On top of, I actually started thinking about the defensive pylons that I had in mind before I actually even started any of this shit. On the other hand, these are a whole bunch of motors I no longer actually need to freaking worry about anymore. And I never intended, never intended to actually having to worry about anything outside of drones. And sure, it could be my own fault. It could also be that I never wanted to actually have this be a thing. I guess I didn't have to replace a wheel, just fix one that was already on here. And went after the suspension. <sighs> but I suppose that's what I get for, you know, not playing the game for a couple of months. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, hi, my name is Jason Carr. This is Space Engineer Solo Survival. Uh, Mini is, at the time of this recording, Mini is not available. He is, I think, somewhere else. So, all you get is me for now. Uh, so, it's back to Solo Survival, as intended. <sighs> as for what has been going on, I have been, you know, I've been doing fine. Work has been work, life has been life, things have been things, um, and well, pretty much ta having taken a small break from Space Engineers, mostly for the sole reason of I was moving. Um, Apple cider, I swear, it is mm, some of the most delicious shit ever. <laughs> um, but we, I, me and him have still been talking about what's been going on with the series. He's been basically, he's also been, many has also been pushing me to make sure that I update regularly, which I can appreciate. He wants me to actually he wants me to actually get it actually get to doing things. And I actually wanna do something with it. So and we're gonna switch to R. Anyways, one of the things that we were talking about is um having easier transport, having easier work to do and he, I can't stop many from coming up with drone designs. I can't. It's just, it's one of those impossibilities that I will never be able to, you know, stop him from doing. Oops. Um, I have to get rid of those GPSs later. All right, where to go? There it is. 
Yeah, everything looks nice. Right. It would help if I actually got freaking materials to work with. <laughs> uh. Uh, but for the most part, I have been busy. Do I not have steel plates? Or are they all in the drone? I think they're all in the drone. Oh well, it's not going to stop me from making more. There. Pretty awesome. Getting 25 plates every tick. <laughs> um. Mm, don't know what I'm going to do with all these tools. What am I going to do with all these tools? Unload them to a place where I don't need them. <sighs> so, one of the things I actually wanted to do was... Like, many has been thinking up of drones to make our life easier in building and mining and doing things. Me, I was actually thinking about, I have actually started thinking of basically a carry, not necessarily a carry-all design. It's a design more meant for transport and m mobile um, mobile material usage, I guess you could say. The whole idea of it being that instead of the rover, instead of the truck, which, oh shit. Instead of the truck, which has been a really reliable vehicle, despite all of the shit I've put it through, Despite all of the crap I've put it through. Really? They damaged the... God damn it. Yeah, despite everything I've put the truck through, it's, one, it's starting to become one of those things of... It's a ground vehicle, and... It's... It is one of those things where I need to start. We need to start looking at um, we need to start looking at being able to move around at, through the air, basically get to places easier. Also have the ability to move other mine. Uh, also have the ability to move uh, other equipment and um, something that can move a good deal of. A uh, good deal of materials and just about everything else we need. Ah, this fucking freaking. Since when are wolves able to tear apart steel? I mean, if you're gonna go for a simulation game, if you're gonna go for something like this, don't make it to where wolves. Something that occurs naturally can freaking bend steel with their teeth. That makes no freaking sense. <sighs> Sorry. It's just really annoying. Ah, <sighs> where was I? Stuff and things, right. Uh, so, as it has been a few months since I've actually played, I'm thinking I'm probably going to spend a lot more time just focusing on getting something built than, than getting something, you know, more than talking. So, I'll probably talk more on what I'm thinking when I'm building these things. <sighs> Excuse me.
And let's see, we have ourselves a central column area. This will probably be where very probably be where various ah, motherfucker. Be where various extra systems are stored. Be where we get things situated. What sort of cockpits do I have? No, I have some mods. Oh yeah, I did pick up Sage's uh, industrial cockpits. This would probably actually be one of those situ. This probably would be one of those. Uh, one of those things where oops, probably one of those things where it would actually be useful to have one of these. Like, how does this look? Hmm. Oh yeah, It'd actually be perfect for the design, especially if I stuck it on the front. Then probably stick some LCDs that have freaking status updates on it, like its weight. <laughs> I I would be nice to have essentially heads up display of of things. Uh, so we are going to. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is set up. Sorry, kind of just where the webcam is set up at the moment that. Okay, so if that's how that's set up, that means that the point at the top... Okay. Point at the top is where we are going to have the connection at. So... Hopefully this doesn't tip the thing. And it tips the thing. Oops. That's okay, that can be counteracted by adding the weight. Of course, we could also keep it like this, because this would also allow me to do other things. It is still currently rolling. Seems how it's not going to tip over from that. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. yeah. It's an unfortunate thing, but I've been noticing Space Engineers has been started having some issues. I. Everybody who plays Space Engineers already understands all the problems that come with it. I mean, in terms of actually getting the thing to work properly, like the way we want it to, the way we wish it would work, we pretty much understand that that's probably not going to be a thing. But a lot of us are hopeful. We're always hopeful. Oops. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're always hopeful that you know the devs will actually you know fix something. I mean, I mean planets. <sighs> I'm just happy that we actually do have planets. Um, I remember when planets became a thing, and like I just remember sitting there with Minnie going. I remember many actually saying, it's like, yeah, they never actually planned on having planets in the game. And it's like, well, I'm glad they figured out how to do it, but... I... Oops. Yeah, now I'm just trying to come up with a design. I know how I want it to look in the end, but I know it's going to take something else. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh... 
There we go. But it's a... Uh, it, it's... I'm not entirely sure how to say it. I'm just happy we have planets. I just wish they would optimize things and figure out what is wrong with... I mean... At this point, I just wish they would pay for net coding. I, I, I don't think anybody would begrudge them for going third party to try and figure out how to figure out their net code. Doing something like that would help alleviate a lot of the issues people have during multiplayer. <clears throat> and even single player, we've had... Like even single player, you guys have seen some of the problems I've had. Need I mention the jumping truck? Um, I don't want to go about this. Bounding frame. Basically, bounding frame that has 3x3 three three engine nacelles on the back, middle, front. Probably other things in, in between them. Because I want to set up a grid. Basically, 4x4. Four four, oh, no. No, that's what I want to do because that'll leave in room for if there are thrusters in the middle. Yes, that'll work. That'll work just fine, won't it? Alright, so. Just had my idea, my spark, my stroke of genius <laughs> on how I'm going to run this. Basically, I, the idea that I've been having for a, a, a an air replacement for the truck, the air truck. <laughs> ah, I ran out of hydrogen already. Need to make myself some new bottles because the freaking first batch of dogs freaking killed me and my body disappeared before I could get it back. Mm. Ah, what was my time at? I have spent pretty much 20 minutes wasting everybody's time. I've been sitting here talking about personal life and all that other fun stuff. <sighs> Pardon me, and burping. But the idea stems from the idea that I have a central line. Oops. And then a box. Gotta remember I don't have all that much oxygen capacity because I haven't bothered making bottles again. <laughs> um, what we're actually going to do is... All right, we're going to do it this way. That's the center block. We want to keep the center block. Got to think ahead with this one. Because we keep the center block, we can go out this way. Ooh. Keep the center block, and then we go. Oh, I need interior blocks. Why do I need interior blocks for freaking? Oops. Interior plate. I understand why I need interior plate for freaking conveyor blocks. And it made sense before. It doesn't it doesn't make sense now. Especially when the things are exposed half the time. Uh, but that's the price of industrial design. <laughs> ah! <sighs> yeah, 25 minutes. <laughs> but, uh... Ultimately, this has just been 
a rambling episode. So, I don't know. This one may not even actually get posted. I may actually, by the time this episode comes out, I may have actually edited, gotten into actually editing my videos. Because, let's see. Yeah, that's all I really have. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode at 25.26 minutes and then start the next episode with actual building. I have been Razor Karu, and this has been Space Engineers Solar Survival, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>